Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, and if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be talking about the synopsis for Episode 18, also a major returning character has been confirmed for next season, and also Melissa Benoist did an interview regarding her new episode, Episode 17, the episode to do with Lex. First off, we're going to be going over some of the things that Melissa said in this interview. This is with EW.com. So I'm just going to be picking out some important stuff that she says from the interview. So there's one bit. The first question asks about like her job like directing and how daunting it was essentially. And she goes on to talk about the story of the episode. And she says this. So, I couldn't believe how lucky I was that I got to be the teller of that particular story for our season, where we recap the entire season from Lex Luthor, John Cryer's eyes, and I was very excited to get to work with him closely in an actor-director relationship. So, that's big. We found out that episode 17, this episode coming up, in just a few days time, I believe this Sunday actually, so it's really really close now. We're going to be seeing the episode told through Lex Luthor's eyes. We had no idea about this. This wasn't said. This is the first time I've heard of it. And this is a big revelation because, you know, Melissa's directing it. I presume we're going to see glimpses of Supergirl, glimpses of Kara, but it's not going to be as much as normal. And it's a Lex heavy episode. And I think it's good compared to, say, like another character because I think Lex is really interesting. And I think Melissa can do a good job of it because there's a lot of stuff to actually dig into and he's been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes Lex has so it makes a lot of sense that we recount say through his eyes compared to anyone else's eyes. Okay so the next interesting bit Melissa says this and this is in regards to a question to do with them recounting the season and how expository it all is so Melissa says this there are a lot of time jumps that let the audience follow Lex as he learns about Earth Prime it starts the day after Crisis, so in a way that we had Kara Danvers wake up after Crisis in her loft. It was this new world, Earth Prime. This is Lex's telling of that, so we time jump a lot. There's a lot of exposition, exactly a lot of themes that we had to catch people up on. So that was a little daunting to make sure that yes, it was expository and informing the audience that they needed to know and what they needed to understand but also keep it moving and entertaining at the same time. So that's another big revelation. We start the day after Crisis happened. He's learning about Earth Prime, that's going to be a big thing and how he became this sort of powerful figure on this earth, how he's not like a villain on this earth and he's not perceived that way like he was pre-Crisis. So he wakes up and it's like his vision of after Crisis and what happened and there's going to be lots of time jumps like she says <clears throat> and that's going to be the way of telling the story this episode so that's it for the interview segment of this video go check out the interview it's in the description below this is from ew.com and now let's move on to the next thing that i want to talk about this is about a major returning character and a major returning actor who is coming back to the show so thomas lennon appeared for the first time as Mr. Mix's Pillock in the 100th episode this year, episode 13. And initially when he was cast, it was said to be that he is going to be a recurring cast member. He's going to appear like quite a few times. Obviously over the next few seasons doesn't mean just like this season. So he's come out, he's talked to comicbook.com, which will also be in the description below. You guys can check out the whole article. And he says this, I'm going to return as soon as television is open again. And he says, crap, we've never announced this, but yes, when the show returns, which I hope is sooner rather than later, there is definitely a plan for the return of Mix's Pillock, and thank God, because it took me so long to learn how to say that name. Okay, so this is super exciting because I thought Thomas did a great job in the 100th episode. He was obviously a recast from the original actor back in season 2 who played Mixie, and obviously we loved Mixie in season 2, that episode is one of my favourite episodes with mon -El and Kara and Mixie, it made for some of the best dynamics we've ever seen on the show. Then Thomas Lennon came in, we were all very unsure because, you know, we loved Mixie in the past, 
but the 100th episode really, really delivered, and Thomas was great. He was completely mixy, and even though he was different, had a different accent, the explanation was good enough to sort of accept this, and we accepted it, and he was really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to him returning to Supergirl, and it's amazing to see that he said, you know, once television is open again, so once productions are back up, yes, he's going to return to the show, and he hopes it's sooner rather than later, and he said that there is definitely a plan for the return of Mixie, because I think as of right now, they've probably started to write the episodes for season 6. Well, actually, definitely, because they plan to film at the end of April until June, so therefore you can interpret that, yeah, they definitely had the screenplays written already, and they would have been able to film at least like five episodes or so. So I'm guessing they're about like, you know, maybe on like episode seven right now. They've got the story planned out for the season because they were going to film early. So they have to figure everything out earlier than normal. So I think, you know, the plans that he talks about, meaning probably he's going to show up in the first seven or eight episodes of the season. So I would say probably expect Mixie to show up sometime in the first half of the season and maybe again in the back half of next season depending on how long the season is because of the delays and the way the show seemingly is going to be scheduled Supergirl probably won't make the full release date and you know there is a possibility that some of the other CW shows don't make that release date but more likely than not Supergirl will not be able to actually air in until 2021 and the mid-season so potentially the season could be shortened in order to accommodate you know finishing at a normal time when they're filming and they can start the new season and make it like a normal like 20 to 22 episode season I'd say probably next season we're gonna get a 20 episode season then potentially like the season after like season 7 which I believe Melissa's contracted to was season 7 and then they can renegotiate the deals after that. We've talked about that with Grant just yesterday, actually, on one of our videos. So I would say, you know, maybe we get 22 episodes in Season 7. But I would say 20 for next year is a, a pretty safe bet. Anyway, so let's move on to the final thing in this video. This is the synopsis for Season 5, Episode 18, titled The Missing Link. This is how it goes. Lena discovers the consequence of Project Non the Cherry. Supergirl and the team go head to head against Rama Khan and Leviathan. Meanwhile, Lena and Lex must join forces when Project Non the Cherry fails, leaving the two siblings in serious danger. So, this is episode 18. The first bit goes to do with Lena. It says, Lena discovers the consequences of Project Non the Cherry. There is obviously going to be some sort of consequences because later in the synopsis it says, Meanwhile, Lena and Lex must join forces when Project Non the Cherry fails, leaving the two siblings in serious danger. So, you know, this whole Non the Cherry thing has been going on since like episode one. I'm not going to lie, kind of forgot about it. It's been very much a background thing with Lena. Lena hasn't showed up that much. And it's not the most interesting story, so I think that's why it's quite forgettable. But apparently it's still around, like right at the end of the season when it was introduced at the start. Something goes wrong again, it fails again, I swear it's failed like five times already. But, you know, I think it's interesting that Lex is involved, I think that's the most interesting thing about it. But anyway, the project fails and they're gonna have to sort this out somehow and maybe it wraps up by episode 19. This is the penultimate episode, so this is the one before the finale. Supergirl shot episode 20 and they've got 19 as the finale now, so they're merging the two episodes together. It's going to act as one kind of big finale. I don't know if they're going to go over the normal runtime or if it's going to be squished in to make that 45 minute sort of time gap that the CW allocates normally. So we'll have to wait and see, but it seems like whatever happens, you know, it's going to be a finale, but maybe it won't wrap up everything. However, you know, there is a possibility because they did film most of the stuff, but you know, it was just the final few days that they couldn't get in. So the final part of the synopsis reads, Supergirl and the team must go head-to-head -head against Ramakan and Leviathan. So there were some photos released by, I think it was Melissa, but anyway, Melissa's in it. She was directing this episode, and this is in relation to this. So Supergirl and the team must go head-to-head -head with Ramakan and Leviathan. Gemma Cooper, who is in charge of Leviathan, at least for the moment, she is suited up, she has a suit, this is a totally new thing, we've never seen her in a suit, 
and she's going to be fighting Supergirl, it seems. And I guess Supergirl gets more involved with Leviathan now, and I don't know if Rama Khan still works for Leviathan, but it seems they're definitely teaming up, if I'm wrong about that. Anyway, so he's returning. I think he was just, like, a fine character. I think Gemma's fine, but I'm actually excited to see her suited up, because we haven't seen that. And I hope this acts as, like, you know, your first kind of big battle with the villains, you know, Leviathan and Supergirl going head-to-head -head as we head in towards this finale. And I hope the finale wraps this all up, because, I don't know, Leviathan's good, but it's not that interesting. And I hope they really get a amazing villain like Rain again for next season but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.